Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how this unknown soap brand went from doing 5 million a year to over $100 million last year in just 18 months and became the number one soap for men. In this video, I'm going to reveal exactly how they did it and how you can use these exact same principles to grow and scale your e-commerce business. Hey guys, my name is Shash Singh and I'm the founder of Lynx Digital Agency. In today's video, I'm going to uncover the exact process that took Dr. Squatch from selling $5 million of soap in, I believe it was 2018, to over 100 million in 2020. The best part about their success story is it's possible to replicate this if you have the right product and if you have the right understanding of your customer. So first, let's answer the question, what did they sell and how did this company start? Let's zoom back to 2012. Meet Jack Haldrup. Jack is a CEO and founder of Dr. Squatch, the company that sells manly soap for the manly man. But not just any soap. This soap is made from all natural ingredients that exfoliate your skin and make it as smooth as possible. But wait a second, doesn't that sound like a product for women? Normally it would, but Jack saw an opportunity to take the female-oriented market and create the same version of it for men. And here's the story of how that happened. See, Jack has psoriasis. I hope I said that right. It's a skin condition that creates patches of dry skin. It's incredibly itchy. Jack found that most big brand soaps made his skin worse, leaving him scratching and clawing his skin for days. So he decided to ditch all the big brand names and decided to search for the rescue at the farmer's market. And why farmer's market? See, farmer's market typically sell products made from natural ingredients that don't have the harsh chemicals most soaps do. Now, here's the thing, the soap that he bought at the farmer's markets helped his condition, but he couldn't stand the smell. They were very much the very feminine smells, right? Like vanilla, roses, and daisies. And that's when the light bulb went off. Jack realized there was a space in the market for soap for men with natural ingredients, but also soap that smelled manly. He realized there was no competition out there for this market at that time. And he also figured out that most guys are not going to go to the farmer's market to pick up feminine smelling soaps. And that's how Dr. Squatch was born. So you might be wondering where this name comes from. See, when Jack was doing his research for soaps, he was trying to figure out why the big brand companies had so many chemical ingredients. And he discovered that during World War I, big soap companies started getting rid of natural ingredients because they were more expensive and they started adding chemicals to make the production cheaper. So the term natural soap became as rare as the Sasquatch itself, which is a quote from Jack. And that's how Jack came out with the name, Dr. Squatch for Sasquatch, because natural soap is so rare. So Jack had his name, he had the product that he created with his own formula, and the next step was to start selling it, right? So he did, out of his kitchen in San Diego, selling a few bars of soap per day. And as he started making a profit, he decided to tap into the power of Facebook ads. And he gave most of his money to Zuckerberg. The profits are decent, but they were not huge and he wasn't really scaling that fast. Everything changed in 2018 and it had nothing to do with Facebook ads. See, Jack realized there was a lot of com competition with Facebook ads and he also wanted his company to grow to eight figures, but he also didn't want to bring on venture capitalists that would take huge portions of his company and then use that money to scale on Facebook. So he decided to take a leap of faith and march down the YouTube lane. Instead of getting venture capital, Jack invested $18,000 into one ad and he hired an agency got to work. But before they began the ad creation, Jack and his marketing team had a lot of work to do. And that was mainly gathering the data, right? They had to do a lot of demographic analysis, they had to talk to their customers, they had to figure out who their customers were. In general, he knew their demographics, right? Their gender, their age, etc. However, he knew that for his ad to be successful, he had to go deeper. So the company used post-purchase surveys to get more data from their customers. And what they found was a gold mine. See, most of their customers didn't just live in New York or LA, they actually lived in places like Kansas City. They were manly men who wanted a soap that actually worked for them. These were typical hardworking guys in flannel shirts who drank beer after work. They liked the outdoors, they liked chopping wood, they liked fishing. And they were using the same exact soap they had been since teenagers or what their mama bought. And that was the problem the customers had. They were using the same soap that left their skin itchy, that did not leave their skin feeling great and they didn't want to go for the feminine soaps because they quite frankly are you know like manly guys so they didn't want to go for the lavender smelling soap right and 
Because of that, Dr. Squash basically took this angle of going after that demographic and used an ad that basically just worked wonders, right? The ad vote is a huge hit. They hit over 140 million views with this ad, all because they dug deep into the research and asked their customer the right questions so they knew exactly who they were speaking to. So whenever you're creating your ads, you should survey your audience, ask them questions, use post-purchase surveys, and actually get on calls with your customers to figure out what their problems are so you can solve them. But this viral ad was just one part of the success equation. There's another vital component of the success of Dr. Squatch, and you can implement it right away to boost your conversions and sales, even without the viral ad. But first, a question for you. What's a must-have of a good ad? A call to action, right? Dr. Squatch's ads was no different. They had a bunch of call to actions. However, and their call to action was to go to the company's website. But that's where the second component of their success was hiding. See, this company uses a subscription model, a soap subscription model, and it's a winning strategy that leads to high lifetime values. Now, why does this work so well? Number one, it's convenient for the customer because they don't have to think about it. You basically get the soap delivered to you every single month to the same address. Number two, it's like Amazon Prime, right? It's basically convenient, it's fast. And also, the customer has to cancel it, so typically, you know, you, this keeps going and people will be subscribers for 12 months, 18 months, etc., which for an e-com brand brings in long-term customer value. As a result of this, Dr. Squatch had over 200,000 yearly customers and 30% of those are subscription-based. Now, before the prospect becomes a subscriber, they have to make a decision to sign up. And the way Dr. Squatch guides their prospects through the process is the key secret of their wild success. Now, let me explain. I'm gonna take you through this process step-by-step step and show you how they did it. First, I'm gonna show you a breakdown of their video ad, and I'm gonna to cut to that now. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to break apart one of the best video ads I have seen on YouTube lately, and that's Dr. Squatch Soap Company. This is a really cool commercial. And actually, the same actor was in the William Painter sunglasses commercial. Um, I don't know if they're owned by the same people or not, but these guys are killing it. They figured out YouTube ads for e-commerce, and I'm going to show you what exactly they're doing. If you look at this, this has 63 million views. So they've spent probably a few million dollars on this at the least. So they know what they're doing. And yeah, let's, uh, let's grab into it. You're not a dish. You're a man. Most name. So literally that was the best hook over. You're not a dish. And he throws a dish at a rock and it breaks. And then he says, you're a man. Like if that doesn't grab your attention, I don't know what will. Brand bars and body washes you rub on your skin are classified by the FDA as synthetic detergent. <sighs> it's not Again, expert. He basically takes these uh, other soap companies and he tells them that yeah they're classified as detergent awesome comparison and great visuals with showing these detergents and his friends just falling off and again that's a great example of the him being the guide character this guy's a guide character while the guy that just fainted is everyday joe even real soap stop marinating your man meat and unholy ingredients that are harmful to your well-being body and sperm count awesome visual right here like basically showing these other soaps as being the slime and then obviously he says stuff like sperm count etc so you know paints a picture start treating your body to the natural nourishing lathery goodness of dr squatch soap get ready to step out of the shower feeling alive that smells really good it smells like my guy's cologne okay <laughs> it smells good really thing? good yeah it really, really good. sex and this part is awesome they're literally getting other people to smell it the girls are saying that it smells sexy the guys are sm saying it's smelling really good this is an awesome way to do it because this is something that's not like soap is something you smell, right? That's like the biggest thing with soap. When you buy a new bar of soap, you smell it. And they're basically smelling it and they're saying that, yeah, this is awesome. So you're getting, you know, third party uh, testimonials of the one thing that you can't really communicate by video, which is the smell. See? Oh, that smells really good. I would use it, but like if a guy smelled like that too, I'd be like, Ugh. if my man was wearing this, I would be all over him. It's natural. It's kind of like being in a forest. I would use this on myself. <laughs> mm, way better than like the regular store bought soap. I'm talking about natural, nourishing, cold pressed, hand cut soap for men. Again, awesome visuals here. You just start hooked in, you, you just want to keep going. Uh, 
So go to DrSquatch.com to feel, smell, and shower like this every day. Our soap is handmade here in America using a process that's been perfected over thousands of years. It's perfect. Big Soap cuts corners and strips out all the sudsy goodness in order to make production cheaper. First, I'm going to have you read our competitors and just go ahead and give that a shot. Hydrogenated tallow acid. Pentaerlithrittle. Pentasodium. Pen pentatate. <laughs> Your poor balls. All dry, empty, and sad. But not Dr. Squatch. Now go ahead and read uh, Dr. Squatch's all natural ingredients and tell me what you think of those. Pine tar extract, pine oil. Rosemary, cypress. Oatmeal, sand, and orange essential oil. So this is pretty awesome. They basically have people read the ingredients of other soap companies, which is a bunch of artificial stuff, while with these guys it's more natural. So yeah, that gets people really... So that's a really interesting way to do it because it's basically these third-party people talking about the ingredients in this soap versus the soap that most other companies sell. In fact, after I watched this soap, I actually bought, I didn't buy this soap, but I bought some other organic soap because I was like, okay, there, this has a point. Um, anyways, I'm going to skip ahead to a little bit um, later. So they basically go and show more stuff. You can watch the video ad. I'll have a link below. But James, I like to get dirty. <laughs> yeah, you do. Because you're a man. But don't worry. We've got you. Shampoo every few days for a deep clean and condition daily to rinse away sweat and grime. So they've they now introduced their shampoo and conditioning. Those are the upsells, those are the bundles. So they're showing it in their video ads so that people will buy those as well. While hydrating your hair. But James, this is two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. No, Mike. That's heresy. Using a two-in-one is like adding water to whiskey to get hammered and hydrated. Or going on a date wearing pants and unzipping the shorts. You want to smell like the forest? Boom! Pine tar. We've got you. You want to smell- This is great. They're showing the reviews they have. Like the sea? Boom! Nautical sage. We've got you. You want to- And then they're using visuals where they're like, oh, do you want to smell like rum? Smell like you just got off a boat in the Caribbean? Boom! Bay rum. We've got you. But so they're using these visuals to basically demonstrate that. Now- Men love our soap because it makes their skin feel less like that and more like this. Around four minutes in, they actually have something really cool as well. Smell less like that and more like this. Shower less like that and more like this. We know that real soap makes a difference. So they're visually showing the lather. So they show visually show the lather there, which is really important because that's something we all like while we're taking a shower. We want lather. And with Dr. Squatch, your skin will be healthier. Just ask the quarter of a million men who are already a part of the Squatch Nation. It feels good, and it smells even better when you put it on. And that is an amazing way to show social proof. Like, have all the video testimonials and then zoom out, and then obviously more testimonials here. On your body. <laughs> you don't need much, and it spreads real well. It's definitely got like a constant, like, Really smooth lather to it. Got that nice, uh, silky smooth, soapy feel. My skin feels really smooth. Holy cow. Definitely better than a normal bar of soap for sure. It's time for you to get the right tool for the job. Because you're worth it, my friend. We ship it right to your door. And with a 100% satisfaction guarantee, if it's not the best bar of soap you've ever used, it's on us. I need, I need this. I need the soap. I need this. See for yourself why thousands of men are switching the Squatch. And I want to show you the end of this, which is a really awesome call to action. So they actually tell you to go to DrSquatch.com and then they show the URL as well. Go to DrSquatch.com to treat your skin to real, natural soap. So yeah, that's a great thing because they got the actual call to action at the end that they needed to. So. Really, honestly, I have nothing else I could improve in this ad. I think this is a perfect video ad. This is really great. Hey guys, before we move on, I wanted to talk about something very special very quickly. I wanted to introduce you to a few people that are killing it with YouTube ads. Mike made over a million and a half dollars with e-commerce YouTube ads. Bastian did over $300,000 for a client at a 10x ROAS. Boyd's making five grand a day with his course. Kale made a client $40,000 from just $8,000 in ad spend. Lloyd made a client $33,000 from $12,000 in ad spend. Do you know what the one thing they have in common? 
They're all part of my expert YouTube ads training program. We have the most technical YouTube ads course in the market with live weekly calls, a Facebook group where you can ask any question you want about YouTube ads and more. And some of the best students spending thousands or even $10,000 a day on YouTube advertising. So there's a link below in the description to go book a demo call. Go and book a call to get a preview of the course and see if it's a fit for you and if it can help you get your YouTube ads to $5,000 a day or more. Now let's get back to the rest of this video. Okay, now that you've actually seen the ad, now you click on their website, you click on their link and you end up on their homepage. So right away, there's a call to action, as you can see, which is subscribe and save 15% in big and bold letters, right? It's right there in the front on the button, right? And right here as well, it's all over the place. They really want to basically get you to subscribe and basically save a lot, right? Now, now here's the thing. Once you actually click on this button, something interesting happens. So you basically get a five-step process that allows you to customize your order, right? So you know, quarterly is a really smart idea because instead of subscribing and getting sent every month, in which case, you know, they have to pay more shipping, right? Like Dr. Squatch has to pay more shipping, then you actually have the option to do quarterly and that way you're collecting, you know, let's say three months up front versus one month up front. So quarterly, quarterly subscriptions even more useful. And the cool thing about a quarterly subscription is you're more likely to forget about it, which, you know, it's a little sneaky, but you're, you're definitely more likely to forget that you're even getting it. So you're gonna get it and you're gonna be like, oh, cool, I got this. But you're not gonna be reminded monthly that you're getting built. So that's actually super cool, like the quarterly subscription idea. And you can even choose the number of bars per quarter. So, you know, if you're hairier, if you need to shower more, then you can basically get more quarter, right? So maximum lather, there you go. And then obviously six bars per quarter is the most popular, so they kind of push that. And then you also choose your cents, right? So you can, basically you have six bars. So let's say, you know, you choose um, Squatch Picks, right? You choose Spearmint Basil, Bay Rum, Alpine Sage, Pine Tar, Cool Fresh Aloe, Deep Sea Goat's Milk, Grapefruit IPA. Okay, I think that I think we've had enough there. So you can choose all these. And then there's the upsell, right? Like you can add in a hair care subscription, toothpaste subscriptions. They sell these other products, basically increasing their AOV and increasing the amount of revenue they can generate from customers. So let's say I want some deodorant, right? And then you can even add some add-ons on top of the subscriptions, right? Only sent for your first shipment. So perhaps a soap saver, saver, and yeah, then you click finish. So they've clearly put a lot of work into this checkout process. So as you can see, the AOV on the first order itself with the quarterly model is already pretty high, $47. And then you know, if I stay on for a year, it's probably like $120, $130. That's quite a bit, right? So um, they have a really, really genius model here. Also, you get free shipping for life as well if you take a subscription model, which is really awesome. Now they've increased their AOV a lot by doing this. And so that's kind of how their process works. Now let's say you wanna actually just buy one bar, right? And this is really interesting. So let's say you just wanna buy one bar itself and starter, so they have these starter bundles right? And you can click that and their starter bundle basically gives you everything you need. You click checkout. Actually, let's say, get rid of, um... oh, and they even have an upsell here <laughs> in the actual order page. So that's pretty awesome that they do that, right? But as you can see, right, like if you actually just get the, let's say we remove the subscription, get rid of that, and you just get the Squatch bundle, and let's say I'll put in my address, let's put in a US address. All right, so I've added in a US address, right, and I want to show you guys something interesting. So they basically have the standard shipping, six and a half dollars, right, so it's actually pretty expensive. So you will basically, you know, you're kind of incentivized to go for the subscription option because shipping is a little bit more expensive, right? 
and then you can basically check out here. So you're paying for shipping and getting a regular price. But if you go for subscription, you get 15% off plus free shipping. So yeah, that makes it really easy for people to go for the subscription. And then obviously it's on the customer to cancel the subscription. They forget. And you know, I have Netflix, Amazon Prime, everything, Amazon Prime. So it's like I'm paying subscriptions, but I'm not complaining about it because I use them once in a while. And this combination of great branding, smart business models, amazing ads, and the brilliant structure of their funnel and how they just upsell, upsell, upsell at cross-sell subscriptions has really helped them get scale up very fast and get to 100 million a year in just 18 months. And this is an example of a direct response brand really, really just going, growing fast. And see, that wasn't that all hard to do, right? They implemented the post-purchase surveys to get that information. They built an ad that used that information. They used a lot of humor, which works super well on YouTube ads. They created a viral ad and backed it up with a simple customer journey that made it easy for a lead to become a raving fan. So yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this breakdown and guys, make sure to subscribe, smash the subscribe button and leave a comment for the next brand you'd like me to make a breakdown on.